edition of the Empathic Designer podcast. I'm your host Vaidhi Shwaran. This is the final episode of the seven-part series on performance needs analysis. In this episode, we will look at tracking and evaluation of performance which will ultimately impact the bottom line for our stakeholders. We can initiate this conversation by inquiring about how performance is measured right now and why is it done this way. This will give us an indication of the level of evaluation the organization is currently performing and see if this is still viable for the evaluation of the future state. We should then circle back to the audience factor and inquire about how the audience would realize the effects of this tracking and evaluation. Based on the stakeholder's response, you can probe further to understand how feedback is communicated to them. Following this preliminary analysis, we will work with the stakeholders on how to improve and sustain this future state. It is important to provide time and space for our stakeholders to introspect at this stage. It is advisable to share your performance needs analysis findings with the stakeholders ahead of the meeting. The first step to make this happen is by developing and implementing a measurement plan. Developing a measurement plan requires data and it is important to collect data at all levels, at the business level, performance level and capability levels. A good strategy is to whiteboard your data and create mind maps for correlating the data with your findings. This will help us with developing a cohesive model. It is important to remember that our model must be tested at each stage by correlating the data with your findings and questioning the outcomes. Once our framework is ready, we will have to consider the cost and time factors in this model to identify ROI. It is advisable to come up with two to three options depending on your scenario. From the stakeholder's perspective, this will be a more comprehensive approach and they have the power of choice to select that which suits their needs. In my experience, A lot of stakeholders come up with surprises when I am presenting my performance needs analysis model and it is always good to have options to ensure that we are prepared to handle some of these surprises. Let us conclude with a quick overview on ROI. ROI or return of investment is used to determine the monetary value of benefits realized by achieving the goals and objectives set out by the performance needs analysis. ROI objectives must contain measures that are linked to the performance objectives and the business results metrics. For long-term projects with higher budgetary commitments, we can recommend the creation of a pilot group to test our recommendations. A good performance needs analysis report or presentation will have recommendations backed by facts and figures and provide flexibility for the stakeholders to adapt it to suit their needs. Always have an open mind and approach and provide our stakeholders with a genuine partnership that will ensure a positive outlook towards our recommendations and their implementation, making their world a much better place to be for them.
Thank you for tuning into this week's edition of the Empathic Designer Podcast. If you like what you heard, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can hit the bell icon for getting regular updates from my channel. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a message on the comment section below and I'll be glad to respond. I'll talk to you again next week on another interesting topic. Thank you and have a great day. Music